Hello, N5XO here to bring you another Hamster Weak Signal Group training video. This training video will introduce to newer and experienced hams exactly what VHF UHF Weak Signal Operating is and how to get started in Weak Signal Operating. Let's go ahead and get started. Weak Signal Operating is not as many people think QRP. In fact, most experienced VHF UHF Weak Signal Operators run between 300 to 1 kW of power, with many even running full legal limit. What weak signal operating refers to is working stations just above the noise floor. Because many signals are just above the noise floor, a quality radio with low noise floor, very low loss feed line, and high gain antennas will lead you on the path to success. Weak signal operating is made up of many modes, phone and CW being the most popular, with MSK-144 FT8 gaining popularity very rapidly. Weak signal is made up of many different modes and operating types. Tropo, E-Skip, Meteor Scatter, EME, just to name a few. I compare operating VHF UHF weak signal to fishing. There's a lot of drinking, swearing, and waiting, but like fishing, it can go from dull to extreme excitement in just a matter of seconds. Ask most hams and they'll tell you with authority that unless there's some tropo action going on, 2 meters and 70 centimeters is only good for 10 to 15 miles, or 30 to 50 with a good quality repeater. Ask any hamster member and he or she will tell you confidently that a basic station can work around 100 miles daily, a thought out station with quality feed line, high gain antennas and feed line, along with a little bit of power and 160 miles is on average with morning enhancement helping you to reach out to as much as 200 plus miles. Throw in some tropo and 300 to 500 miles and with e-skip 1000 to 1500 miles. Some of the super stations are working 300 plus miles consistently. If you have not experienced working 500, 1,000, or 1,500 miles on 2 meters and up, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, I can still remember my very first contact uh, into Kansas City from San Antonio, Texas. It's over 780 miles and uh, got me extremely excited so that six, seven years later, I'm still remembered it uh, like it was yesterday. And I ended up working about uh, five to ten people that particular day. Uh, my wife probably will never forget the day I worked uh, on 23 centimeters, 1296, uh, into Florida from San Antonio because I woke up the entire household dancing around like a giddy squirrel girl. So it's a lot of fun and uh, you, you don't know what you're missing until you enjoy it. The most common bands to get started on six meters and two meters is start monitoring and calling CQ on 50.125 for 6 meters and 144.200 on 2 meters. But remember that 6 meters is very much a seasonal band with the prime 6 meter season running from late and early June through the middle to the end of September. You can experience some additional openings around Thanksgiving, Christmas time, but uh, they are normally nice surprises and not to be counted on. 2 meters and up also has some seasonal benefits in the springtime and you'll enjoy a great bit of enhancement and uh, multiple tropo openings during that time period as well as e-skip. And always uh, on the uh, VHF UHF bands you're going to enjoy some morning time enhancement uh, that will really help uh, boost your signal by an additional 50 to 70 miles depending on the quality of the enhancement. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what you need to get started. First and foremost, you need a VHF UHF all mode radio. You have many options available running with prices running from a couple hundred to a few thousand dollars. Common radios are the so called shack in the box rigs. These are still in production and very popular. Radios like the TS2000, the ICOM 9100, the uh, Yesu FT991A uh, are more popular radios. Uh, that are still in the market. And then some older rigs that are excellent performers, uh, the ICOM 746, 746 Pro, uh, the FT897, the IC7000, 
and then going back even further, some older and outdated rigs, but they are extremely popular and extremely coveted, are the FT736R, uh, which with the proper modules installed can provide you with 144, 220, 432, and 1296. The IC911H is another outstanding rig that can provide uh, 2 meters, 144, 432, and uh, 1296. The advantage to rigs like the 911H and the 736R and the upcoming new ICOM uh, VHF UHF rig is they're dedicated to VHF UHF and they're not trying to be a jack of all trades. You'll enjoy much better performance from these types of rigs. A good quality horizontal antenna. If you're centrally located to the main area of folks you work on a regular basis, a good set of omnidirectional loops or wheels. Among the hamsters, the K5VH wheel is very popular for our mobile and stacked uh, set of them for our shacks. Otherwise, I'd recommend a good high gain 15 to 17 element Yagi and low loss feed line is very important. We'll cover feed line in later training videos uh, because this is a very important topic and we feel strongly about, uh, about needing to dedicate some time to it. Transverters are a ver another very popular choice and especially among popular among the uh, more serious operators. They have the advantage that you can use a very high quality rig with strong filters, excellent signal to noise floors, pan adapters, and more of your transverters, uh, giving you uh, much more uh, efficiency. The best part of, since the transverter is a monoband radio, you're going to gain high selectivity, excellent signal to noise ratio. Popular antennas uh, on 6 meters is the uh, K5VH loops. A phase stack set will give you good performance for your local region and like all Omni's 360 degree coverage. I recommend a minimum of 5 elements or more for a 6 meter Yagi with 6 to 7 elements providing the best value for the dollar. 2 meters we again recommend a set of K5VH wheel uh, antennas uh, phased and as high up as you can possibly get them for a regional local activity with a good Yagi of 13 elements or greater. 1.26 meters to 70 centimeters, a good 17 to 21 element Yagi. And on 33 centimeters and 23 centimeters, we recommend a uh, 45 element or greater loop Yagi. And I cannot stress enough the lowest loss feed line you can afford. And again, uh, future training is going to go into great detail on feed line. Uh, probably one of the most important aspects of any VHF UHF shack is the feed line. Here's a few of our uh, members uh, antenna rays to show you from simple to the extreme. Uh, the uh, lower antenna is uh, used for EME digital mode and uh, is pretty exciting for a lot of people because you can now for the first time operate with a modest station moon bounce. We'll be going into more detail on that in a later video as well. VHF UHF weak signal operating can be one of the most frustrating, rewarding, and exciting areas of amateur radio to operate in. I cannot recommend it stronger. The thrill of waking up one morning and working thousand mile plus is amazing. And as you climb the bands with that contact to see which band you top out at, it'll soon have you dancing around like a schoolgirl if uh, you have any emotions in you at all. If we've whetted your appetite to learn more about VHF UHF weak signal operating, please check out the hamster group at www.144200.net. I thank you for uh, joining us and we look forward to uh, working you on the airwaves.